What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Ashton. We're coming back to you to make another video. Today we're uh, going to make a little how-to on uh, how to change the boosted board uh, stealth belts. Because your boy done broke one. If you look here, that's not right. It's supposed to look like that. So yeah, we broke a belt. I ordered some more on Amazon. These are supposed to be Kevlar infused. I don't know. We'll see what they're about. Figured we could make a little video on how to change them. I didn't find any videos on YouTube on how to do the stealth one. Found a bunch on V2 and V1 boosted boards and uh, with the upsetting news that they're not going to be in business anymore, that's kind of suckish and I don't see them making any more how-to videos. So here's your boy Ashton to make you a how-to video on how to change your belts on your boosted board stealth. We'll catch you in just a second. Yo guys, so uh, I know we were at Matt's a minute ago, uh, but we didn't have the tools we needed so we uh, came to a shop real quick uh, and got some uh, more handy dandy tools and uh, yeah, now we're going to fix the... Uh, boosted board and get her uh, moving the way she needs to be so yeah go ahead and check that out I'm gonna do a little voiceover talking about all the little step let me know what you guys think be sure to leave me a little like a comment and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it means a lot it helps me uh, feel the love per se anyways guys we'll catch you in just a second all right guys so you're going to want to remove the back wheel with the skate tool provided with your boosted board be careful not to lose the nut or washer that is on the back of the wheel if you are doing the side with the belt on, you are not going to be able to remove it that quick. You're going to have to remove this cover right here, two Allen screws, and she will slide right off, and then you will be able to remove your wheel and belt at the same time. Next, you're going to want to loosen those four little silver screws by about a quarter of a turn. Be careful not to go too far. There's no need to. It's going to come back to bite you in the butt in a little bit if you do uh, loosen them all the way up. So just quarter screw. Get it so that it's loose so that it'll wiggle just a little bit so that motor will slide freely. This is going to be used so that we can get the tension right on the belts once we install the new ones. Next, go ahead and put your new belt on the wheel. Slide it all on together as one piece. Line it up with the motor and make sure it locks in get it nice and secure go ahead and add tension on the motors pulling it tight against the belt so that the belt has good tension on it you don't want these guys to be too loose they will fall off or they will snap they will just perform worse than they should so make sure you get the tension right make sure it feels similar to the way the original ones did if you need to push on the first ones before go ahead and get an idea for what that feels like before you start doing this process you do not want to mess this up. I cannot stress that enough. After you've tightened those four screws back, you see why I said uh, it was going to bite you in the butt if you loosened them too far up. So make sure they're only just about a quarter screw. That way you can get that tension and boom, 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 boom. You're done. Go ahead and lock that guy in. Next, reinstall the cover so that, that way we're not getting any dirt and debris down in here. We don't want our motors getting messed up. Just take your two Allen keys and slide right back into there. Go ahead and tighten that guy up. Go ahead and reinstall your bolt on that wheel and lock it back in with the skate tool and you are good to move on to the next wheel. Once we hop on the other side, we're going to repeat the process again, except this time we've got a belt on, so we're going to remove that screw, remove the nut again, remove our motor cover with the two allen keys then we're going to want to loosen the motor bolts so that we can get the tension off of the current factory belt that's installed this will allow us to remove the wheel and the belt at the same time after removing the wheel and the belt go ahead and install your new belt pop your wheel back on tighten those four screws that hold the motor in place to keep that tension right make sure that tension is tight guys i cannot stress that enough you do not want those belts to be loose go ahead and reinstall your motor cover with those two allen key or two allen bolts again and we can reinstall our washer and our bolt and tighten our wheel back up let's go see if it works Alrighty guys, so as you see, boosted board's back of working. She's up and running. Uh, we got those belts changed right here. We got new belts on here, Kevlar infused. Uh, heck yeah, straight off of Amazon. And $20 for actually four belts. Originally I thought it was only two, uh, but upon opening the package, 
we were pleasantly surprised to have four belts so whenever these break I got another set really it only takes about 10 minutes to do the whole process as long as you've got the right tools ready to go I'm super excited that we're back up and running and I can't wait to be out riding uh, me and Matt are about to hit it right now it's been a little bit since we got to ride since she's been down yeah guys hopefully my video uh, helps you out hopefully you can change your boosted board stealth belts with ease now same thing goes for like changing wheels you saw the process so it's not bad uh, let me know if you have any comments or if you have any questions uh, please feel free to leave them down below as well please 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 press that like button it means a lot to me last but not least the most important thing that you guys can do to show me some love press that freaking subscribe button guys press it just press it it doesn't mean anything for you all it does is it makes me feel better makes me feel better it means a lot guys real talk though let's get the subs up uh we're at 206 right now i think 210 somewhere in there i want to be at like 2000 guys come on i know you like the videos just let me know what you want to see and i promise i'll make it i got it i got the camera like we'll we'll let this happen whatever it is that you guys want i'm gonna shut up now thanks for watching thanks for your time i appreciate it as always remember one last time press that freaking subscribe button guys <gasps>